cowboy gracing your screen right now. Pro Bowl defensive end, and not just any cowboy. Demarcus Lawrence, also a Walter Payton nominee, which I think is even a bigger deal. Yeah. So huge kudos to you on all thank the work you. you're doing. Yeah, thank you. Honestly, so impressive to make the time and do that, paint it forward. And you're joining us on behalf of Ascent Protein. Ascent yep. Protein, yes. Um, I try to get about 120 grams a day. So, so yeah. yeah. You probably can pick, pick it up to 200. Pick it up? 200? Yeah. Oh, yeah. 200 uh. grams is okay, perfect for you. Okay, yeah, Ascent is it. a great brand. Uh, well, my partner, Tony, uh, you know, Tony Pollard, he, uh, you know, um, is an ambassador of the yeah. brand. And um, he actually brought it in the locker room, and I tried it out before a game. And I was like, wow, you know, this is one of the best proteins I had. And then, um, you know, trying out their uh, post-workout uh, protein and, you know, just how I had my body feeling. I was amazed. Yeah. So, yeah. You should probably send some to Shannon because he's looking a little slim. Well, if we could get him. Some, we could get know. him a little. We could get him a little beef up. <laughs> By the way, that hat's fire. I love that. Oh, Let go and let God. All right. Uh, tell me this, though. First time ever a Super Bowl in Vegas. Yes. What do you think of this experience? Uh... I mean, didn't expect the weather to be this cold, um, <laughs> you know, pulling up to Vegas. But um, it's definitely an experience of the lifetime. Um, man, I, I wish my team was here. You know, we yeah. was enjoying it on the field. But, uh, yeah. I'll let them yeah. pick it up from there. Go ahead, Shannon. <laughs> you mentioned how you wish your team was here. Mm -hmm. What happened and why your team isn't here? Uh, all honesty, I think the main thing is – we was burned out, man. Uh, you know, long season, um, team dominantly healthy throughout the season. You know, um, the legs get tired. But also, um, you know, you got to give hats off to Green Bay, man. They came out with a great game plan, um, you know, rolling out towards Micah and then running away from me. I feel like, you know, that's that's what they needed to, you know, get their game started. And they jumped on us fast. And What about adjustments? Happened. Yeah, adjustments, man. Um, you know, I feel like we went in the locker room and, you know, we came out, you know, ready with our adjustments, but uh, still didn't go the way that we planned it to go. When you say you were tired in a long season, I mean, it's not like, mm. D-Law, you guys played like 18, 19 games yeah. and the other teams played 40 games. Yeah. Everybody had played the same number of games up until that point. Yeah. And we've seen this over the last couple of years with you guys. Play really good in the regular season and then in the playoffs, we don't see that same intensity. We don't see that same ferocity. We don't seem, see that same offensive juggernaut and the defensive staple. What seems to happen once playoffs roll around? Man, if I had the answers, you know, <laughs> shoot, we would be in the Super Bowl right now. <laughs> um, but, you know, um, I feel like, you know, there are lessons learned. Uh, being able to, you know, take those losses and understand, you know, uh, the type of situations that we're in and, you know, um, how to handle them going forward um, is the only thing we can do, you know. Um, and, you know, to all my teammates, um, you know, that's that's what we're going to do. Let me take it from here. Uh, uh, d it's good to see you, my brother. Good to see you. Let me say this, okay? I'll make a statement, and then after that, I got a couple of questions. Number one, contrary to popular belief, I got a whole bunch of boys on the Dallas Cowboys. I, I don't root against y'all. I uh, can't stand your damn fans, okay? So I, don't, I, I them damn Cowboy fans get on my nerves. I truly mean it when I say they're the most nauseated, disgusted fan base in American history. They get on my last damn nerves. <laughs> and I love seeing them miserable. But it's not. I always want y'all to get paid. I want y'all to be successful. I just want them to be miserable. So I just want to get that out of the way first. And all the Cowboys that know me know how I feel about that. Having said that, I will say this to you. We've made a lot of statements about the coaching. We don't know if y'all got the right coach. The quarterback, we don't know if y'all have the, the level of belief in the quarterback or if he has the level of belief in himself when it really, really counts. Mm -hmm. How legitimate, how off kilter are we when we bring that level of skepticism or cynicism to the quarterback and to the coaching for the Dallas Cowboys? Yeah, man, uh, that's a hard pill to swallow. Uh, you know, I have the utmost faith in my quarterback um, each and every time he step on the field. Um, you know, one thing, you know, that I can't accept is, you know, like Shannon said, adjustments. Um, right. You know, us being able to see what's going on and being able to make those adjustments so we can go out, you know, and um, have a great game. But, right. uh yeah, man, I got the utmost faith in my quarterback. You know, right. um, I, I believe in his work ethic, um, what he does right. each and every game. And, yeah. I also asked you about your coach. 
How you feel about the coach? Oh, man, uh, you know, got the utmost respect for Mike. Um, I know he's going to do a great job putting a good uh, group of coaches together. Mm -hmm. um, and, yeah. When y'all lost this game to the Green Bay Packers, when y'all walked that off that field, mm -hmm. was it just about the loss or did y'all have fear that change was coming because of the manner in which y'all lost? Yeah, yeah. Uh, me personally, I definitely had fear, um, you know, being able to be in the league for 10 years. Um, I understand, you know, um, especially after a season like that, what goes down. Um, sure. And, you know, um, shout out to Dan Quinn. I know he got a job in Washington, right. you know, so um, knew it was going to happen. I just, just didn't know how it was going to, you know, happen. Got it. Yeah. Are all the Cowboys chasing that one goal? Because I hear the adage, we them boys. But yeah. now I hear one of your best players say, we need more boys. So are you them boys or do you need more boys? Well, that's what he thinks. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's okay. what he thinks. Um, you, so you don't you need know. any more boys? No, nah, man. Um, I think that's that's the job of the coaching staff to make sure the talent that you have in the room is properly fed and, you know, make sure that they have everything they need to go out on Sunday and win games. Yeah, Jerry, hold on, hold on. Are you hearing what I'm hearing? I'm hearing. Jerry Jones worth 12, 13 billion. Yeah. Y'all got the great, the state of the art facilities. You cap, probably cap room, though. Huh? Cap room. Look here. Cat room. Yeah, ain't no cat. Ain't no cat. <laughs> Y'all get state-of-the-art breakfast, right. lunch, yeah. and dinner. Right. Uh -huh. Y'all got nutritionists like the yin-yang that giving you the best protein, the meal replacements, the recovery, yeah, the recovery drinks. Come on, D-Law. Give me something more You heard than that. him. Focus. Yeah. They got to all be focused, mm. and they were a little tired. Yeah. But you see, read between but the when, lines, when I said When I said they were unfocused and there are other things going on in Dallas, people just, well, how I'm you know you well, ain't well, in the locker room? I'm, I'm, I'm telling you. I, I'm going to applaud D-Law from this perspective. He can only – listen, you ain't going to dime out your players like that, your teammates, but you are right. You are right with the points that you bring up. You ain't wrong, <laughs> but he's right to avoid it, yes, and I get it, sure. and I understand it. But in the end, what I'm saying is this. I'm looking at your talent because you are great. And I'm looking at a couple of guys. And I and I believe y'all got some great talent on there, all right? Yeah. Even though I, I swag goose definition of great is different than mine. But I get all of that. But at some point in time, I, I really believe some of y'all, not talking about you, not talking about Micah, not talking about you, but some of these cats cannot handle the spotlight that comes with playing for Big D. And I think and I'm and I'm asking, I ain't asking you to name no names, but as a player, yeah. you got to admit I'm right when I say you do see that as a player in other players that when the lights get bright, mm. they can't handle it. Uh, I mean, I think that's for any player, you yeah. know. Um, but, you know, especially in Dallas, um, you know, the atmosphere that we have to play in and the circumstances, man. Um, it's different. You know, it's, different. it's, it's like it's a Super Bowl a, every Sunday. It's, so, a, it's a different you know, level. Uh, being that, you know, love Dallas, but I feel like it also takes respect off of the Super Bowl. You know, if you got to play a Super Bowl every Sunday, you know, kind of take, takes that away. Mm. So, that's a good point. That's a, good that, point. That's a really interesting a point. point. Uh, Speaking of the Super Bowl, That's we'll right. take you off the hot seat, or I should say cold seat. Can you believe how freezing it is Man, right now? I'm sorry. I have a full-blown blanket on set. Mm -hmm. uh, let's talk oh, yeah. about this Super Bowl, though. Who do uh, you have winning? You think Mahomes is going to go for his third, or do you think Brock Purdy and uh, the Niners pull off the unbelievable going for Mr. Irrelevant to winning a Super Bowl? Yeah, I think it's going to be a great game, but um, I'm going to have to go with the Spirits. Um, you know, Pat on Ben here before. Um, you know, he know what it takes to win, and He's probably going to do it. Going with the Chiefs. Yeah. Going with the Chiefs. Okay. <laughs> All right. All right. Okay. Before we let you roll, uh, anything else you want to tell us about what you're doing with the scent protein? Yeah. Um, mostly, I'm taking it every day uh, for my post-workout. Uh, How just, many grams do you get a day? Uh, I don't know. I just do two scoops. Okay. Yeah, two scoops, call it a day. Two yeah, scoops. But, just um, being able to have the type of minerals and nutrients um, that my body needs for the recovery is absolutely great. Okay. Yeah, because we don't want you tired. That's your job we as a leader. We don't want you tired next season, and we, we need and focused. Your job as the leader is yeah. to make sure everybody yeah. is ready to play every single Sunday. That's yeah. your yes. job. Yep. That's your responsibility. Yep. You're the veteran guy on the defense. There might be a better player than you, but you've been there the longest. You are responsible yeah. for that. I appreciate that.
explanation, well, Shannon, but I think you said it best the other day when you said you was on. We were on the air last week, and you talked about how before every game, before yes. especially the big games, uh -huh. you would sit up there and look at the players and go like this. Don't you? Don't let it be you. Yeah. 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 Listen, yeah. heavy as the crown, it's a lot of pressure. I get it. I have to get these two guys ready every Monday, <laughs> Tuesday. It's tough. Like, I'm we like, don't have to get her ready. Some, yeah, exactly. Sometimes, yeah. sometimes there, get Shannon ready. gets a little yeah. nervous. Yeah. I have to give him pep talks. Like, <laughs> Shannon, it's okay. You're a Hall of Famer. You can do this. Yeah. Uh, yeah.